good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have another how to video for you guys we're going to be going through that same extreme you know wrestling type deal for your wwe action figures you know last time we did barbed wire i showed you how to make barbed wire for your wwe figures and your figure weapons you know in the extreme championship division on mdt live we like to get messy or i'm about to take things to a whole new level here and that is with the help of all these figure hacks that i'm showing you guys but right here we do have light bulbs or light tubes, whatever you would like to call them right here. You guys know that these are usually used in death matches, matches seen across the independent scene, seen, you know, not in WWE, obviously. I don't even think they've used a light tube ever in WWE. I could be wrong about that. If so, it, it was a long time ago. So this is a light tube. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll pop it up on the screen. I'll even maybe show a highlight or two from, you know, a death match or something. The overhead swing. He looks like Pondo. DDG off the top. Oh! Second rope. Oh, Ten times. Tubes. Jesus. But anyways, this figure hack does come from my boy Prime Wrestling. You guys have heard his name quite a few times on the channel mentioning about the barbed wire and the scaffolding and the different things. And I was really inspired by his King of the Death Match series, his pick fed show that he posted. He had two different realms. I think one was from 2015 and then one from 2014 possibly. Could be wrong about that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to show you today how to make light tubes for your figures and how to do that and everything like that. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So getting into the materials that you're going to need guys first of all you're going to need a epic you know hardcore extreme championship superstar and i got kevin owens right here he is the current extreme champion for mdt live he came over from vindication in a trade and then of course his first night on mdt live he found the extreme champion unconscious one two three he claimed the title and he's set to defend his title for the first time at the MDT Royal Rumble, which is, uh, you know, coming soon. We got the MDT Live Episode 12, and then it's on to the MDT Royal Rumble. But anyways, getting into the materials, not only do you need an epic superstar, you need some scissors, which is going to be used to cut your electrical tape. And this is what we use for the little end bits right here. Prime Wrestling gave me that tip. You could... To be honest, you don't necessarily have to have the electric tape. It just sort of adds that, you know, that that sense of realism to it. I think it really adds to it. It makes it look like a light tube, if you will. So there we got the electrical tape. We got the scissors. You don't need salt necessarily to make these, but I'll add an extra detail with the salt here in a minute. But I went to Hobby Lobby, and these right here are lollipop sticks. They are 4-inch lollipop sticks and they are absolutely epic i'll take you know one out right here so you guys can see but it's like this massive bag i think it has like 200 in it or something here's the uh, lollipop stick it's the perfect thickness i think it does fit in the figure's hand well you guys will see here yes it fits perfectly into the figure's hand right here and you know you can whack people with it you can bust them over your figure's heads you can you know slam them on it and they all that good stuff so there is the uh, lollipop stick in kevin owens hand so we're going to take that out give me that before you beat me to hell with it so what you do is you take your light or your lollipop stick your light tube and again you don't have to have the electrical tape but again this just looks like a white tube or something i don't know it just I think that the black tape really adds to it. So if you, maybe even you could use a Sharpie. You don't have to have electric tape. You could use a black Sharpie or black paint just to, you know, add some lines on there or whatever you want to add. Maybe even silver would look cool. If you added like a little silver line at each end, that would probably work as well. It would probably even make it look better, to be honest, if you did silver over black. But anyways, what you would do is you would take your tape or your Sharpie. In this case, we have the tape. So you would take it. You would obviously, you know, start off your little roll here. You put, peel off a little bit. Then you would take your scissors and you would obviously just cut a little bit off like right here And there you go. You got your little piece of tape We're gonna take that off and there it is and then of course you'll just go to the end here And you'll just add it to the end and you'll wrap it around so just like that and then wrapping it all the way around and bam there's the one side and then you'd obviously do that twice and you'd have the other side done and bam you have yourself a light tube for your wwe action figures and now i'm going to get into a fig hack that i am uh, i'm going to give prime wrestling the credit for this as well and what he does is let's say you're doing your pick fed match or whatever and kevin owens takes his light tube and he busts somebody over the head with it what you would do 
is that you would come in with your scissors and you would, you know, cut it in half, like right here at like an angle. And it's kind of thick, but there it goes. And you can see that it's sharp at the end and it looks like the light tube did bust. So now you have your sharp end. And not only do you have your sharp end of your light bulb right here, if you aim at the ground or, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these in real life, but when they bust, they bust a white powdery substance all over the ground. And that is where our table salt comes in. So this would bust over the head. Let's say Kevin Owens came in, he bust Bobby Trashley over the head with it. And so you would pour this on the ground right here. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but maybe zoom in here. And you guys can see that the salt covers the ground. It is there, but I don't know if you guys can see it as good. Maybe I can pour the black right here. And you guys can see it makes that white powdery substance that comes out when you actually, you know, bust one of these light tubes. So I think that is a great detail, again, for pick fetting and, you know, action figure shots and stuff like that. Maybe a, a, an old school ECW match, you're trying to do some cool independent wrestling shots or you're doing pick feds or you're doing your own extreme division or hardcore division, then the salt works perfectly for that reason. And it adds that extra detail, like I said. So light tubes, very easy to make, guys. I mean, th these lollipop sticks, I think, cost me like three or four bucks at Hobby Lobby. And again, you only need a marker, some paint, or electrical tape, which I used. And honestly, it took me a minute to make all of these. This isn't even all of them. I think I made 30 different light tubes just like this. So it took me a minute, you know, to cut out um, all that tape and wrap it around these and then the tape kind of unravels so that's kind of annoying to me I kind of wish I would have used a sharpie or maybe a light silver to give it a more authentic look But I do have a lot of them and uh, I do have some more tutorials on extreme divisions and hardcore uh, WWE figure hacks and stuff like that coming soon But I think that you guys would get a kick out of that I thought it was awesome and shout out to Prime Wrestling again for that Really awesome fig hack. I, I am enjoying it so far. Again, that guy is so creative, and uh, I, I learned a lot of stuff from him. So I wanted to share it with you guys, and that is pretty much it for this WWE figure hack. Light tubes for your WWE action figures. Very simple, very cheap, and easy to do. And it's going to be interesting. Is Kevin Owens going to have to deal with these light tubes as he heads into the MDT Royal Rumble? Going to be interesting. Who knows? On MDT Live episode number 12, he could get jumped from behind, lose his title, and go into the, you know, the, the match is set for the MDT Royal Rumble. However, he could lose the title on the go-home show for uh, the, the the Royal Rumble. So who knows? We'll have to see when that episode drops. I'm going to shoot. I'm literally got, I'm shooting to do the full MDT Live episode this week. That way I can start on the Royal Rumble the next week and get that thing up as fast as possible. I want to have MDT Live 12 and the Royal Rumble up before the end of March. So I'm going to be grinding my butt off on that and everything. So it's going to be a really good month of pick fetting and grinding hard on it and getting it up for you guys. Are you guys excited for Fast Lane? Let me know down in the comment section below. That pretty much does it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy that fig hack. And if you guys would be interested in any other weapons or tutorials or any how-to videos in the future, please let me know down in the comment section below and I will be happy to check those out and see what I can do for you guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below what you thought of the awesome light tube fig hack. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.